Our superintendent, Lane Nielsen, has been with the course for 18 years, and I've only been in High River, you know, at that point, a couple of years, not even. And we knew the heavy rains were coming, and I was asking him, you know, being the veteran that he is, you know, do we have to worry? It's so obviously the golf course, similar to some areas of town, have, have been hit with previous floods where the rest of town wasn't impacted nearly as bad. And he actually said, yeah, we're concerned, we're watching. He taught me how to read the, you know, the Diebel's Ranch water meter, the flow rates up there, and I actually woke up at one o'clock that morning and checked it, and it had and gone off the charts. So I was already a little curious, and my phone rang very early the next morning, and uh, you know, I knew why it was ringing. So I came down this before seven, by the time I got here and told my wife when I left the house it's going to be an interesting day and I was out by Heritage 6 Green and water was already coming uh, around Heritage 6 Green was already basically an island and there was water coming onto Riverside Drive at that point so we you know we knew it was going to be rough so at any rate we we told the staff to start moving equipment power carts things to higher ground prepping for a flood still not really knowing what's happening of course and I phoned home, told my wife to uh, move what she could up from the basement. We have, you know, we had two young kids, so I couldn't expect her to do too much, but at least pictures and, and whatnot. And she kind of thought I was a little crazy, but I said, no, you know, this is, this is big. So at any rate, uh, by about 9.45, 10 o'clock, we lost our roadway. Water came from the east, kind of, you know, backwards through line of acres, washed out our main road. We got a few staff out that way as water was relatively low. Uh, but, you know, it took like four or five minutes and the road was impassable. So we got everybody off property, uh, including a few members that were here helping out. Even, you know, I want a staff member from Turner Valley Golf Club that lives close by here. He came down to help out and... Yeah, five, six pickup truck loads of staff in the back. We went on Mountain View 1 Fairway um, and made sure everybody was accounted for and got them safely to dry land and told them to go home. And we had a manager's meeting at, at my house and, uh, you know, casually sat around and talked about what we should be doing, what to do next. And because Lane, our superintendent, had been through this before, you know, we were... Quite frankly, we went to Mark's Work Warehouse that day in Home Depot and started buying rubber gloves and cleanup supplies and mops and brooms. It was kind of funny. We were a little bit uh, ahead of the curve.